welcome back to my channel and today I'm with my best friend Lucas again. Hello. Say hello. We're doing the Never Have I Ever Challenge. Bit of a classic one, you've probably seen it before, but it's sort of a video you do if you start up your channel really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a nice little It's thing quite to do. a fun one to do with your friends. It's also a way for you to get to know us. Yeah, and bit. I might get to know you more than I might have. We've got 20 Never Have I Ever questions. I'm going to read them out and we have quite basic two pieces of paper it says I have and never and we will hold these up when we answer yeah right go <laughs> number one never have I ever forgotten my friend's birthday <laughs> yeah I have I have too many times it was actually the other week oh yeah you told me about this so I didn't forget my friend's birthday but I forgot to mess in, I just totally slipped my mind. Yeah. And then when I realised the date the next day, because I was back at school, I was like, oh, it was so-and-so's birthday yesterday, I forgot to message. Uh, yeah, so I forgot my friend's birthday because I was in a different country, travelling back home on the, on the airplane for literally the whole day. So I didn't have the chance. I did celebrate his birthday. But like, you remembered, like I did, but just no, forgot to message. No, I, did, I didn't remember. Oh, I completely, worse. I completely <laughs> forgot. Yeah. But then I realised the next day, and yeah, that's what then, I then after a birthday. So I did, nice. literally the other week. Yeah. Okay, well that's number one. <laughs> <laughs> number two, never have I ever cheated on a test. I, I definitely, I have. I have. Oh no, which one? Right, so it was a maths test. We're in the classroom. I'm sitting at the far corner on the back. I've got my phone, yeah, just like this, looking through oh, the answers, oh no. sitting slightly back, so it's just in line with the top bit. What's two point five times two? I li I literally I literally had ninety I had ninety five percent because I had to get some wrong, so it wasn't obvious. Even though all my other results on my other papers were like forty five, fifty, and then it goes straight to ninety five. So I'm a good nice. student. I've had nev never. That's the only test I've ever cheated on because my friends dared me to. Said he'd give me a fiver. Oh, did you get the fiver? Of course I did. That well, that's worth it then, isn't it? Yeah. Number three. Never have I ever gotten lost in a shop and gone up to a stranger thinking it's your parents. I actually never. have. Never. No. You never got lost? No, I've, I, no, I never actually. Every week. I never. I've never gotten lost. The, I the most I've gotten is like, my mum's told me to go, when she's in the queue, she's told me to go get like, I don't know, a pack of Harry Bows. Then I go to there and then I slightly... And I carry on walking down the aisle. And then you find her. And then I find her, yeah. I have, when I was younger, and I would go up to someone and be like, start talking to them. And they would look at me like, who are you? And I'd be like, oh. Or have you ever like, you know when you're like with your friends oh, no. and you're both walking somewhere and say they stop tying the shoelace and you keep on talking, not realising. You turn around, there's a stranger behind you, like walking as well. Yeah. And you're talking to them. Shocking. You sort of have to go, oh. And then sort of awkward silence as they walk past. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> right. Number four, never have I ever sent a text to the wrong person. <sighs> this one's pr this one's pretty clear. I have. I have. Done it. Yeah, hundred percent. All the time. Basically, um, my my when my mum was at work, she messaged me saying, "Lucas, do you need any like equipment for your pencil case?" And I go, <laughs> "Yeah, and, and I need um, a calculator and a glue. Can you send that to me?" I send it to my best friend from a place that I'm currently at. I said to her. I'm, Sorry, I meant to send this to my mum. I did. I actually sent you the wrong message the other week. Yeah, you did. You were messaging me about the school and certificates and things, and parents were messaging me at the same time, and I messaged you, thank you, kiss, kiss. Yeah. I <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, sorry, that was to my dad. Comment. Number five. I don't know why I always read the numbers, because I always get muddled up somewhere. It's fine. Number five. Never have I ever fallen asleep in class. Lucas. Yeah, I have. No, I, never. Only when I was watching a movie. It was when I was watching a movie. It was the most boring movie ever. It was a medieval time movie. Oh, was that the one they put on the other week? Yes, oh, that one. Shocking. It was so boring. I fell asleep at the I fell asleep at the back of maths. Basically, I've got a story right. My maths teacher. I'm not going to say any names. She said that we could have fun on our last lesson because it's the last lesson before summer. And we were like, yes. The next day, we go in, it's our last lesson. She puts on the most boringest film. All the oh. kids are messing around. They're leaving their classrooms, walking around the hallway, like the corridor. When and I'm we're all sat in mass, like, this is yeah. when, I, when I go toilet halfway through the lesson, I see <laughs> half of the class outside doing their own thing. Yeah. They just all left because it was so boring. 
Like, have some fun. What a good film, don't you? Put on something like Thomas the Tank Engine. Five-year-old me would have found like, that. Who, what math teacher thinks that their students are going to sit watching a boring film when they said they're just going to have fun? Math Silly teachers. Girls. Silly girls. Number six. Never have I ever dreamt about my crush. Uh, yeah, I have. Should we just move past that one? I'll say how many, t a couple times. I don't really remember, but I must have when I was like younger. Like you only have like, like you're in like little relationships. When I had a crush on her. Yeah, when you're in little relationships, like yeah. I had a boyfriend in like primary school. Like, but like they're not <laughs> serious, but like do you know what I mean? Right, number seven. Never have I ever had a dream about being famous. All the time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. What are you dreaming about? What do you want to do? I'm dreaming. Well, my dream, what I dream about every night, is becoming a, is becoming a stock investor and just mm -hmm. making millions, and then using that money to start my own food business. That, that's really cool. I like that idea. Mine is just presenting. Yeah. I just dream about being on stage. <laughs> And then, like, going out into the audience being like, thank you, Make thank us you. achieve our goals. <laughs> subscribe, please. <laughs> yeah, subscribe if you want to see us being a chef and a business food man and a TV presenter and entertainer. I might become a chef YouTuber. Well, it's... It depends. Maybe. Who knows? If we get enough likes. <laughs> if we smash 10,000 likes. Two. Two, two likes. Two? That's, that's a lot. If we hit 10,000, you should buy your own food truck. <laughs> That's one and two. Right, two likes. Plus um, 9,998. Two likes and I will meet my favourite TV presenter. Two likes and I will you know cook and... Sure. Two likes and I'll cook a pot noodle on camera. Right, okay, perfect. No, <laughs> number eight. Never have I ever had an argument with a teacher. Yes, I have. Actually, yes, I have. No, I've never. I'm too much of a good student. I've never done that. The thing is, I'm a good student, but the problem is, this was that one supply teacher. That's the strictest person on planet Earth. <laughs> Basically, um, I'm sitting middle row. Yeah. Middle row on the left, and the teacher's desk is on the right. And basically, I'm just sitting there. I'm literally not even doing anything. I look out the window because I done. I done. There wasn't any work to put on the yeah. board, so I'm just sitting there. Bored as hell, this teacher goes to me and goes, go up, go up, it's called, it used to be called referral, yeah? Oh yeah. Go to referral, which is basically where naughty kids go. Yeah. And I look at her and I go, I wasn't even doing anything in this. And she goes, are you talking back to me? And I go, yes I am, because I wait, haven't wait, actually done anything wait, wrong. Wait, for which teacher this was? <laughs> I basically, um... Oh, okay, yeah. She, 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 I said, she said, don't talk to me with that tone. I'll go, yeah, I am, when you're telling me off for no reason. She pretended to phone oh, someone. Yeah. She was on her home screen, it was very obvious. And what? then she just sat down and five minutes later was the end of the lesson. But it was funny. Why did... Um, like substitute teachers always pretend to phone like the biology teacher that we have he yeah. always pretends that he's phoning patrol and he's never like the screen's literally black <laughs> he never speaks to anyone I'm going to call patrol and he's just standing there you know he's not calling anyone yeah anyway. it's absolutely terrible never ha number nine never have I ever cried during a movie the other week we both did remember? yeah we saw this movie, um, what was it called? If, Imaginary Friend, and it was sad because the... Spoiler! Spoiler's If coming. you haven't seen it, then fast forward to... Skip about 20 seconds if you haven't seen seconds. If right yeah. now. If Go. you have, then yeah. Basically, there's a, I think the, the little girl's mum's passed away, and then she has an imaginary friend to basically protect her, stay by her side. Yeah, and, and the then, dad gets ill, and it's, yeah. a bit, it's and just really sad. I thought, and we thought the dad died, and then... We started getting the ocean off. Yeah, it's whenever somebody dies, a dog dies, a person dies, especially it's a very dog. emotional. Especially, especially a, dog. a dog. Right, number ten. Never have I ever had a near death experience. Have I? I have. Oh. I've had way too much stuff happen in my life. Go so on, you go first. I this think I have. this happened about five years ago. So basically, um, there's this woods and there's like those, you know, the swings that just from random branches mm -hmm. are made of rope. Yeah, yeah. This one I was swinging on, there's, when you swing far enough, there's about a 20, 30 foot drop. And my foot got trapped. Oh. And I'm ha dangling about 20 feet in the air and I fall. Mm. And luckily I landed on like soft, wet mud. It was terrible. 
But to my left, there was a spiky branch sticking up like that. Oh, so you were lucky. If I fell, like, a foot, like, three feet to the left, it would have gone straight, like, in my chest. I'm trying to think. Like, you know when you step out into a road? Not step out, like, don't be doing this, kids yeah. at home. But if you step out and a car just goes, whoa, or a motorbike, and you're just... Yeah. Do not try this at home. You're just like... Please, please don't, please Like, it takes your please. breath away. Please. And also, uh, there's one time I was at Holiday Park. And I was on, I can't I don't know if you call it near death, but it was pretty scary. Me and my dad were racing on our bikes. My bike went over a bump and I literally did three sixty a couple times, landed straight in my face. I don't know what happened, but I had no scratches on me at all and I found a feather next to me. I was only young as well, but I still remember like whoom. Huh. Shocking. Alright. <laughs> right. Next one. Number eleven. Ooh. Never have I ever gotten grounded by your parents. Oh, I, I, too many times. <laughs> no. Too many times. Never, I've never. I mean, I might have been like sent to my room for doing something, no. like, but not that bad. One time I did get grounded and it was my fault. Basically what happened was, me and my brothers, we were just playing Minecraft together. Mm. My brother repeats on killing me, and I get annoyed. I In a game? Yeah, I grab his <laughs> controller and I throw it at the wall. Right. And then I get grounded for about only about a few days. I don't think I've ever been grounded. No. Too good. Uh, Too cool for school. Right. <laughs> Number twelve. Never have. Oh, what? Carry on. Never have I ever borrowed something without asking. Probably <laughs> <laughs> yeah. something from my sisters. I must no, have borrowed I've something. Bought, I've oh, borrowed... I borrowed gum the other day from a pack of gum, and she was not happy. I borrowed. Um, a jumper from my friend and then he completely forgot about it <laughs> and I just kept it in my wardrobe. Is it still in your wardrobe? I've still got it in my wardrobe and he oh just hasn't days. given it. He just completely forgot about it. And if you're watching this, you better want to ask me for the bloody jumper because I'm not going to give it back until you ask. <laughs> okay. I must have borrowed something from my sisters. That's what siblings are like, isn't it? Right. Never, number 13. Never have I ever had a crush on a celebrity. I have not currently. No, I have not. I've never had a crush on a celebrity. I don't no, know. I don't think I have either. I don't know why. I've never like. I might have thought, yeah, that crush, look, that celebrity looked cute, or that person looks yeah. good looking. But, but not like a crush, like not like obsessed. Yeah, no. Do you know what I mean? Nah, we're too boring. Yeah. I guess we are. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, number fifteen. No, fourteen. See, this is what I'm like with numbers, guys. Number fourteen. Oh, really? Never <laughs> have I ever. Done something embarrassing in public. Yeah, yeah. every week. Yeah. You take me out anywhere, I'll dance in the middle of the crowd. I don't care. The thing is, yeah, I don't typically get embarrassed, and apart from with certain occasions. I'm embarrassing. No, but <laughs> <laughs> I will literally. I don't. I don't dance. care if my friends embarrass me because that's my friends. Like if if she was to embarrass me, I would not care. What's the question? If I was to get, if I ever got embarrassed in public? No, if done something embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> What's um, Leicester City and uh, and um, a lot of people surrounding the area. Mm. Um, people are dancing. I decide to join in. Trip over my foot. Oh, fall no. over. Everyone's staring at me. There's definitely times where I've fallen over or danced yeah. or done something. The battery's dying. Okay, let's move on. Now, this is the question number 16. Never have I ever met a celebrity or a YouTuber in person? Yep. I've met three. I've met... Three. Yeah, so I've met Wo Woody, well, Woody and Kleine. Yeah. Basically, I've met both of them. Mm -hmm. Um, Who's another one that I met? Oh, Tom cool. Do you know who Tommy Innit is? Yeah. I've met him at, what was it, Vid VidCon or TwitchCon or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, I could count my cousin, Henry yeah. Lansbury. I've met a few YouTubers at F festival be good so number 17 never have i ever had a crush on a teacher no i've never is that no. just something that people have yeah Ugh, people have a crush on a teacher it's a bit weird never okay well that was easy never have i ever number 18 eaten a weird food combination come on yeah i have um what was it peanut no not peanut butter Mm -hmm. I can't get my words. Nutella and potato chips. Is it good? Yeah, like yeah, ready salt, ready salt with crisps. Well, I don't know if you call this weird because it's kind of normal now. What? Milkshake and chips. 
Yeah, no, that's that's. Ketchup and cucumber. Okay, that's weird. Peanut butter and brown sauce sandwich. I've tried that because my favorite YouTuber Joe he, try, he eats that, and I tried it for the first time. It's actually alright. No, I like the new the Nutella and the the crisp because it's crisps. like yeah, because it's salty and sweet and it's I can and, imagine and that being nice. It pairs well. Okay, question number nineteen. And never have I ever pretended to be on a phone call to avoid someone <laughs> every time in the shops, yeah. in, the, in the shops, in the public. If there's someone there, don't want to see, but the boom, I'm just scrolling on. You know what I mean? Hello. I won't call someone. I'll go on the weather app and I'll just start scrolling through. And I'll, I'll just look at Instagram reels. I just, I just, or I'll go on my calculator. I'll go on my calculator, weather or settings and just scroll through. Especially if you see someone from school. Right, question number 20. Never have I ever had a paranormal paranormal experience. Yes, a big, a scary one. Well, not scary. It was a. No. One of them was scary. One of them was good. I don't know. I don't think so. Tell you, let me tell you about the good one. Okay. Basically, um, I haven't told you this before. I um, when my brother was little, I was walking him on the trolley. My stepdad is on his motorbike. And he's like having a little race down the road. It's an empty road, and yeah. he's like going slow, and he's telling me to race him. I fall, I flip over the buggy, my Ooh. arm is twisted, and I scrape my face across the floor. Ooh. And I get up, mm. expecting there to be blood all over my face. Oh, maybe I'll have yeah. to. There's, absolute, there's absolutely nothing. But the weirdest part of it all was behind me. This was like roughly su like sunset. Like sunset near night, on the corner of my eye, I see a person sprint across the road. I turn to my direction, there's no one there. If you can say that falling off my bike, not getting hurt, and having a feather next to me is paranormal, par I would say, I would, I would, say, I would say that no is, hat. yeah. Okay, well, that is the all 20. I feel like I've got to quick. know you a bit more, but it was quick. It was quite quick. It's quick and short and snappy video. So, I hope you all had an amazing time for watching hope, this hope you all enjoy it <laughs> and make sure to go and watch our last video which is the slime ingredients challenge using a spinning wheel put the, she could put the link down below in the description the link below. will be up i'm trying to think up down, there down, I think. down down there no because it comes up on the little screen i right there down there it's one it'll be in the description but it might pop up here yeah it's, it's one of these sides so enjoy the bloopers have we got any bloopers i don't know if we have so yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe to see more videos of Lucas. Bye bye. Peace. Goodbye. I can't think it's that one. You look like a writer, idiot. <laughs> so yeah. Oh thanks. well, that's the whole point. Let's get on with the first one. Number one. Microphone? I just had a thought. Is that too bright for that? Right. <laughs> oh, I wanted to blue. check. In the blue for So. Yeah. I just if you've seen me and you think I might have seen you and I'm on my phone, I've definitely seen you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm avoiding you. I actually quite enjoy that. Oh, half a month. Half a month. Basically, we saw this move. That's going in bloopers. <laughs> That's going in, yeah. If we haven't, hold that for a minute. Please, sir, thank you.